the Annapurna range of beauty and a beast, a must for all mountaineers and trekkers. In its shadow, Nepal, a country where time stands still. Once a year, some of the world's top athletes and adventurers take the trek to the town of Pokhara. For a race billed simply as the most beautiful on earth. It starts with a two kilometre swim over the waters of Kiwa Tau, and then a 55k mountain bike ride to the top, the peak of Sarankot. After freewheeling down, it's back up again on foot for the final leg, a 14-kilometre run or scramble to the finishing line. Facing the challenge this year is Eastbourne's Glenn Cook, one of the British pioneers of the sport of triathlon. Six times champion of Britain, twice the best in Europe, and one of the stars of Britain's world championship winning team. Annapurna is something new, something strange, something else. With the backdrop that you can see here, it's certainly something different. Um, you know, I haven't been disappointed since I've been here. Just been climbing for about 45 minutes from down in Pokhara, and I've still got another 10 minute run to go before I get to the top. So it's just a beautiful scenery, and uh, the opportunity was there to come here and do something a little bit different involved with triathlon. It's a little bit off the mainstream, mountain biking. So. Uh, that opportunity and to get some sun um, couldn't be missed. What's this race like? What's this race like? Well, I didn't know what to expect when I uh, got here and I haven't been disappointed. Um, I think it's certainly going to be uh, a tough race. Uh, the swim is obviously very straightforward. It's uh, 2k in a nice lake and then the fun starts. Um, it's a 55k bike ride, mountain bike ride, combining what some road and some off-road. I think there's a climb, you do a climb here about 12, I think 1200 metres in the first hour and uh, I say it's a, it's a bit of a lung buster. <laughs> so, uh, and then the run, well, you know, it doesn't stop there. The run is it's up the same mountain and uh, you know, I just, it's a combination of running, scrambling, and, you know, you name it. There's no rules, you just get up and back, you know, the best way you can. So. It's certainly a little bit different. You're going to make it? Oh, I'm sure that I'll, well, I say I'm sure that I'll get around. Uh, how and, you know, in what time, I'm not sure. It's going to be, a, certainly be a good, you know, an experience. And, uh, you yeah, know, at the same time, you know, I want to be as competitive as possible. Brilliant. It's uh, an eye opener. Um, you know, it's, it's, the beauty of it is you come to see the culture. Um, you know, the culture is obviously something completely different to what we're used to in Europe. And, you know, the, like you say, that you just have to look around at the scenery. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, you have all these high mountains in the background. You know, when you wake up in the morning, they're there. And it's just, you know, the scenery is the something that's going to stick with me when I leave here. On the day before the big race, there's one last training session for Glenn. One last swim. Swimming a lot, lot worse. Uh, you can, you know, you can see, see under the water a little. Uh, didn't see too many fish or anything, but um, it's certainly a lot better than I thought it would be. What about the cows on the beach? They're going to be a bit of a problem, aren't they? Yeah, well, <laughs> hopefully they're not going to join in the race. <laughs> not any uh, extra competitors. Up in the hills, Glenn's main rival, Jack Maitland from Leeds, winner of the race for the last four years, is putting in his final session. Around here, Jack is the star. They call him the king of the mountains. Glenn, know Jack very well from you know, the domestic scene and put us in a, a regular triathlon on road bikes. I would, you know, I would relish the challenge of having a, a race against him. But uh, here in his own backyard, I think, uh, you know, it's going to be a a different challenge. He's, uh, he's a bit of a billy goat, a mountain goat, so uh, 
think I'm going to see a lot of uh, hard times in the next, you know, what, what, maybe four, four and a half hours. Race start is set for eight. Around 100 athletes from all over the world have come to the The town folk are out to watch. Local TV has flown in. This is Nepal's grandest sporting event of the year. Yes, two. How's it going? How do, you, how, how do you feel about this? How do I feel about it? Yes. Um, are you ready for it? I'm very excited, although I'm not showing it. You seem pretty cool. Yeah. Thousands are on the beach to cheer. A public holiday has been declared in Pokhara for Glen Cook, though. The race is on. The race plan for me is pretty straightforward, and that's get out in front on the swim um, by the, you know, in terms of, I don't know who else is here on the swimming side, but obviously in terms of Jack, who's the favourite for the race without a doubt, is try and get a little bit of time on him on the swim and hang on to it as long as possible. Hopefully the whole race, but <laughs> but that's you know that's definitely the plan. I mean he's going to be chasing me, and um, you know once he catches me, if he catches me, then then it's going to be very hard. And everything's going to plan at the end of the swim. Glenn Cook finishes in a time of 27 minutes and 32 seconds. A quick change, and he's off on the back. Jack Maitland is two to three minutes behind, but as they head for the mountains, there's trouble ahead. First for Glenn. He gets lost. The route appears to go three ways, and he takes the wrong way. He climbs to the top of Sarankot in second place. But up ahead, the champion is in trouble. Two punctures, and his chances of winning are blown. I had a look to see if there's any chance of repairing it, but um, I mean, uh, both my tubes had massive holes blown out in them, and even though I had some patches, you know, it was going to be a lost cause, especially especially once I realised the tire was gone. Disappointed? No, no, no. Well, obviously, yeah. Um, I suppose it's sort of risky running a race like this. I, I was most annoyed with myself at first, but you can, you know, there's no way of saying whether it was possible to avoid it really. Um, I, I, didn't, I wasn't being particularly reckless when I punctured. It didn't seem to be a particularly rough section or anything. Just, just unlucky. Back on the trail, Glenn pedals into the lead. The only challenger is New Zealander Mike Ward. The rest are nowhere. Fortunately, the only problems I had was about 5k. Just as I got over the, on the last rise coming down, I was my derailleur jammed and I just had to freewheel into town. So I lost a bit of time. Enough time to lose the lead. At the end of the bike, there's nothing in it. It's shoulder to shoulder for the run, the climb, the scramble, back to the top of the mountain. Just so hard. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I ran too much on the way up. <clears throat> and uh, I was wondering if I was ever going to get to the top. It took a long time. And then uh, got to the top. I just spent my whole time looking at the floor going up the mountain and looking at the floor coming down the mountain. First man down is the New Zealander. He takes the tape and victory in a time of four hours, 40 minutes and 39 seconds. Glenn Cook is two and a half minutes back in second place. Well, my thoughts at the moment are, I don't want to see another hill in my life. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it just gradually lures you in. You have a nice swim in the lake and you climb up to Sound Cot on the bike and uh, you think, well, things can't get any worse than this. And then out on the run, and he's over the paddy fields, and you start going up, and it's just, oh, just so hard. They call the Annapurna Triathlon the most beautiful race in the world. What does Glenn Cook call it? Well, I mean, I mean, the scenery is breathtaking. If you've got time to have a look at it, you know, it's breathtaking. I, I wouldn't object to coming again. I mean, it's been a great experience. So I think I'm going to have to come back at some time. Um, to have a further look around, you know, at this country and uh, maybe do the race again. <laughs>